below. Trying some earphones here. I can get it. So uh, I'm doing complete. Um, if you're coming on, please comment. You can see and hear me all right. Um, or I'll know if uh, if I'm um, missing or need to <laughs> try something else here. So if you're coming on live, please please put in the comments below if you can see and hear me all right. Um, it's Dr. Trevor from Peak Potential Physiotherapy and Wellness here in Carrierville, Tennessee. Uh, coming to you live today. Hopefully everyone's enjoying some sun <laughs> and getting out there it looks pretty nice um we're still here in the clinic uh helping out some some folks um but hopefully uh i'm coming through all right for you i'm gonna put in the uh comments the uh, blog i want to talk about the article that was written because i know i've been getting some issues with getting up and down off of the uh off the floor a bit um <laughs> not the floor or even outside, just uh, having some issues with uh, with myself and be playing and trying to be more conscious uh, or present with the kids when we're playing and everything. So um, if you do come on, I would appreciate you putting down that you can see here all right so i know that i don't need to go delete this video um because it didn't didn't work on this new new platform okay so uh these are five ways or five sidewalk chalk exercises to get you and your kids moving so please tell me some of the things that y'all are doing to get moving and to stay moving there Hopefully no one's jumping on because they're outside enjoying the weird. And I think I did it again and put this on my put this on my page as opposed to the uh, opposed to the peak potential page. But uh, we'll we'll see if I can rectify that next time. But um, but yeah, we're all we're all doing more. I'm really loving the sidewalk chalk uh, murals and whatnot that I'm seeing. Um, you know, when we're walking every every evening and af afternoon with the kids, because it gives you some inspiration when you see, you know, smile and the world smiles with you. Uh, it just it does. It makes you smile and, and hope that you are. Hope that you are still still just. Being grateful, OK? Um, my wife probably won't, uh, she's the one who wrote this article, probably wouldn't want me uh, saying this again, but we talk about inspiration, um, something that is helping me out, and I might have put this uh, on the last one, but I'm really thinking about it, is how I'm choosing to spend my time and or invest my time during, during these moments. So am I spending my time just getting through and uh, filling it with stuff, or am I actually investing my time to work on myself and those around us. So it do, doesn't mean that it's not good to be, you know, learning something or if you're saying I have to learn something, you're not you're not doing that, but you're just being present. So if you're choosing to be with the kids, you're you're staying present with them while you're while you're with them and and you're not um, you know, looking at the phone or social media or anything like that. Okay, so that's that's my little Friday inspiration, I guess, is to be present and to to invest in that time that you have and, and not spend it. So a pack of sidewalk chalk. I mean, who would have guessed that a pack of sidewalk chalk is going to be used by you as adults and that with your kids? But you have you have a blank canvas on your driveway. And this can be amazingly fun for you and your kids. I, I've started coloring more <laughs> with the kids, which I which I have liked. Um, but as parents, we 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 love our kids to be creative, use their imagination, get fresh air, and sometimes um, you know 
uh, even work together. You know, the kids like work to, working together and collaborate on something. But instead of just drawing some chalk monsters and pretty squiggles um, on the sidewalk, why not turn chalk time into game time? So this means movement and exercise for the whole family. That means that you don't just watch your kids, or your grandkids having all the fun, you join in too. All right, so here are five ways we can turn sidewalk chalk into gym class. Something that was really great that we did recently is our number one is Foursquare. Who remembers Foursquare? I remember, and uh, unfortunately, they weren't uh, kosher with the kids. They didn't, they didn't like it too much when I would spin the ball uh, and things like that. Um, so who remembers Foursquare? Put in your best, your best move that you liked. Was it the backward spin, the side spin? But, but draw your own Foursquare court with chalk and mark out the numbers one through four. Uh, another rendition my kids had would they use like uh, king, queen, knight, and you know jester or something like that. But each each player stands in a square and plays, and you bounce the ball um, in the other square, and then you hit it towards another square, and then the receiving player hits the ball to another player. The ball must bounce once in their square, and if it bounces a second time, then they're out or they get moved down to square one. So if you're in square four, you have to move back to square one. The last one uh, standing in, in the last square is winner. So that's that's the first first exercise you can do. Number two is hopscotch. You know, we bring out, bring out an oldie but a goodie, right? So you draw the hopscotch course um, with chalk and number the boxes one through 10, as long as you want to make it. So one, you know, you got your whole cul-de-sac, you know, draw, draw one to 50, you know, but then you toss the piece of chalk uh, or a small stone into one of the boxes and you go from there and you can, you can make up, make up some, some rules or challenges you like, hop on one foot, hop on both feet together, double hop, all these things just to, uh, just to have some fun with the kids, okay? Or yourself. <laughs> I get them out there and, and uh, having some good times. So um, so jumping on, jumping out and, and doing that on your own. Number three is alphabet jump. So use your chalk to make 26 circles fairly close together and write the letters of the alphabet in each one. And then you can jump between circles with both feet or on one foot, alternating feet or make uh, big circles and do frog jumps, uh, lily pad jumps. But you jump from the alphabet A to Z, call out the numbers, go to the next one, uh, or you can draw the numbers out of a hat or spell different words, kind of like Scrabble or something like that. Number four I saw last night when I was walking the dog is an agility ladder, yeah? So so you can pull out your... your, uh, your um, back in the days when you were working out, you know, the agility ladder. So the first three may have <laughs> may have been fun, but you know, the suggestions may have been fun with this one. We're getting, we're getting serious, some agility drills. So draw the ladder about 20 feet long, divide it into 20 squares or ladder rungs and do a variety of exercises. So down the ladder, you can run there and back, you can do high knees, you can do uh, sidestepping or karaoke side to side, even traveling push-ups up and down. Yeah. Uh, number five, the last, the last one you can do is a 2D obstacle course. So our family loves a good obstacle course. We, we come to the clinic all the time and just mess around with the stuff that we have, but make a 2D sidewalk chalk uh, obstacle course. Okay. So you write it out or you draw various to do on the driveway along uh, or along the sidewalk. So activities could include hop on one foot for 20 times, draw a balance beam, draw twirls or uh, crawl 10 feet, uh, touch your toes, jump five times, those sorts of things. But um, but these are all things that you can do. And and especially now there are all moms out there are things that you do now that are closed for a while. Um, so if you can find something that you can do, great. 
Um, but as a busy mom or a busy dad who's now home, the best part about sidewalk chalk is also that it doesn't make a big mess in the house. You know, it's, there's not any cleanup. The rain will wash it away. But um, so that's another perk there. But we know that, uh, you know, you're, if you're reading this, you really, you, you're, you're wishing that, you know, you could do other things and you might just have some pain and stiffness when you're trying to do that. And it's, you just, you can't do it. You can't have the fun that you want to. So if this sounds like you, if you're having pain, stiffness or balance issues, trying some of these things, if that sounds like you, we have, um, we have things we can do for you. So if you want to click on the article uh, below or, or you know, to the side, wherever it is, click on to it to request a call. Um, and we can stop the frustration of being left behind or the fear of getting hurt to doing some of these things. Man, I was, I was thinking I was going to fall the other day. Uh, my, my son's trying to work on, on doing a skateboard. And so it's been very, uh, very tough um, to figure that out. Uh, and I thought I was going to flip and, and do that myself. But um, if you'll have any questions or if there's anything you want to discuss or want me to discuss, please put it in the comments below and I will get to those and we'll jump on some more Facebook lives. Um, if you have some inspiring things that you've been thinking about, some stuff you've been meditating over or, or anything like that, put it in the comments below and, and share that uh, share that with us. But, but, and have some fun maybe this weekend before before we get a little rain or something like that. You can get out and try some of these these exercises with your kids or or with yourself. Um, you know, ask ask your neighbor for some sidewalk chalk if you don't have any. I'm sure there's plenty to go around. Okay. So again, it's Dr. Trevor from Peak Potential Physiotherapy and Wellness here in Carrieville, Tennessee. Um, again, I I need to share this with the right pages next time. But um, hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe. And we're here if you need us. All right. Have a great, great day. Great weekend.